allies of Donald Trump and Rep. Jim Jordan, Republican Ohio, have been struggling mightily to come up with whistleblowers who will tell all about the imagined deep state conspiracy in the federal government out to get the former president. Instead, the effort has turned into a dumpster fire, blowing up in their faces, Rolling Stone reported Thursday. Republicans hauled out FBI veteran George Hill in early February to spill about the weaponized deep state. But Hill, a former FBI supervisory intelligence analyst, reportedly admitted he had little or no first-hand knowledge of any alleged deep state scandals. Instead, his own right-wing biases were revealed, most notably on social media. In one since-deleted tweet discovered by Rolling Stone, Hill wrote, Cancer. Go faster, responding to a tweet from Rep. Lauren Boebert, Republican Colorado, baselessly claiming that President Joe Biden had been diagnosed with cancer. Hill either could not or refused to answer many questions put to him, according to transcripts reviewed by Rolling Stone. Not to fear, Jordan, the chair of the new House Judiciary's Weaponization Subcommittee, opened his first hearing vowing that he had heard from dozens and dozens of whistleblowers about the political nature at the Justice Department. Trump and his backers, including lawmakers like conspiracy-curious GOP Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley, as Rolling Stone describes him, have reportedly been beating the bushes for the groomed whistleblowers and covering their expenses. But so far, Republicans have brought only three of them to Capitol Hill for questioning, and no others have yet been scheduled, the Rolling Stone reported. While one Democrat has described the situation as a dumpster fire, even a Republican has called it amateur hour in an interview with Rolling Stone. The GOP source admitted that airing this stuff on live television would make us look like morons.